Welcome! Today it's time to get solving. And in this example, we're going to solve a nice linear equation. It's linear because I don't have any exponents on my variables here. Now some tips you want to think of when solving a linear equation. One, if there's multiple copies of your variable, get these guys together first. And second, when you're solving, make sure you get that variable all by itself. So watch for those two things to happen as we solve this guy. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and get these x's together. In order to accomplish this, I'm going to subtract a 2x from both sides of my equation. So a 9x minus 2x will give me a 7x. And of course, let's just bring down everything we haven't used. All right, that looks good. Now that we only have one copy of the variable, just x over there, I want to make sure that it is all alone, all by itself. Well, that means I need to take care of this 48 and I need to take care of the 7. So, one at a time, let's start moving these guys to the other side. I'll start by subtracting the 48. Okay, that'll leave me with a 7x equals, looks like, a negative 70. Alright, now I said x must be all alone, so let's also divide by 7, so it's the only thing over there. This will leave me with x is equal to a negative 10. And there you have it. Since our variable is all alone, I have solved the equation. On a side note, if you ever are not too sure about this answer, feel free to just take this, plug it back in for your x's, and make sure things work out. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.